Caught on camera, two people stealing hundreds of dollars in clothing by kicking through the front door. Now, this happened last Wednesday at Hottie World on Maryland Parkway right near Flamingo. 8 News Now reporter Ryan Matthey shows us why attorneys believe the thieves might not face much repercussion. <laughs> Pricey merchandise and a forced exit. Losing money for, you know, running the business. Management at this Hottie World store did not want to be identified in fear of retaliation from these two escaping with nearly $800 worth of clothes last Wednesday. He says they locked the front door as the store began to close, and when they couldn't escape around it, they went through it. Nothing we can do because, you know, we're not actually allowed to contact the you know, customer just in case of, for our safety. And management says that doesn't even cover the cost of nearly $2,000 to replace the door frame and the glass in such a short notice. This is a problem retails across the valley are facing, but one that attorneys say carries a slap on the wrist. It's a first offense. You're not going to jail. A criminal attorney, Macy M. Polsky, says while petty larcenies could carry up to six months in jail, that's not how many end up, as the courts frequently plead down. There's a lot nastier crimes out there where people deserve prison. Do you really want to put someone in prison who's stolen $2,500? You know, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. Betty Larceny School, at most, is what he's witnessed to get out of it. Once it gets dismissed, you can seal the record which is a civil procedure, and then when that's done, if anyone looks, they won't see that you're charged with a crime. Now, as of today, Metro says the thieves haven't been identified. The attorney adds the amount of product stolen actually determines how much jail time is possible in this case. And since store property was also damaged, he says they could face another misdemeanor, but he doesn't expect it.